Assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to our channel in this video we are going to see how you can import the customers and their balances directly from excel into quickbooks and not only customers we will see also how to import the vendors and balances and if the video doesn't go too long we will also see how you can import the items with their balances with their quantity as well in quickbooks so watch the video till the end it will be very useful video for you and if you are new to the channel hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified of all the future videos and if you want to get our services like training or bookkeeping or accounting services you can contact on the number provided below so let's get started Right now, I have a sample company named ABC Company. So if I go to the customers, since it is a new company, it doesn't have any customers, right? So what can we do now? Now I need to import. Now I need to show you how to import it from Excel, but I don't have any sample data. So let me show you a quick and interesting tip for it. If you are familiar with chat GPT, you can create anything you want. For example, if I want to get the sample data for 20 customers with random balances. So I will write here. So what I have written here is mention 20 customers names uh, with random balances between 10,000 to 50,000. Let's write amount as sample data. So let's see what it generates. that is perfect so let's try the example on this let's copy this go to excel and in the blank workbook let's paste this now i need to separate the names and the amount first so what you can do is i can write here one time john smith and write Emma Johnson. So you will automatically see that it suggests uh, the names for all of them. It separates all of them based on an option of Excel that is called flash fill. If you don't see that uh, suggestion, what you can do is just write two names and select both of them and double click to send it down. And you have the option here. Now you can see that it repeats the names but don't worry in the bottom you can see this auto fill options from here it is copying the cells but i'll click on flash fill and it will separate the names now similarly for the amount i'll write 32500 20150 perfect so just remember that we don't want the amount with the dollar sign and we don't want uh, the names with dashes so this is my real data. Let's save it here as uh, QuickBooks customers sample data. Okay. Now, if I go to QuickBooks, I can go to new customer and click on add multiple customers or jobs. So if we click on that, you will see this thing. So what you can do is it's showing a time saving tip that you can do something uh, quickly. So, okay. So this is our customers, right? So copy all of these customers, paste it right here and let's search for the balance field. Now you can reduce all of these other fields, uh, go to customize column and remove all of these extra fields from the chosen columns now we have only name here and on the other side we have the available columns from here i want the customer balances to be added so let's click on add here and click ok so now we have the names and the customer balances so let's paste it here like this and save changes as soon as I save changes all the customers will be saved 
so these are all the customer balances these are the names and let's save it one more thing that if i want to copy both of them at the same time what we can do is let's open it again name and customer balances make sure that the excel sequence of the columns like first is name and then is customer balances should be same as quickbooks so in that situation you can directly copy both of the columns and then paste it right here so it will be much more convenient than to enter the separate data so let's save changes and you can quickly see that 20 customers are now saved let's close this these are our customers and if you want to see the account receivable in the home tab in go to chart of accounts and here is our accounts receivable which shows the total now the customer balances have been imported let's add the vendor balances in the same way i will go to add multiple vendors and let's go to chat gpt and right here write let's say 30 vendor names with random balances between 10,000 and 50,000 without dashes and dollar sign it still mentioned the dashes but it doesn't mention the dollar sign now so it is better let's copy this and let's paste it here we will create a new column by the way we also have an excel course if you want to join that uh, you can contact on the same number provided so okay it uh, it picks up the numbers as well let's try it one more time okay that's fine we will do the same thing abc corporation and let's write xyz it separates that 41000 and 37000 it picks up the balances now let's select all of these and paste it right here but since we are pasting the two columns i need to customize the columns in the chosen columns we have the vendor name but all of these extra fields needs to go out so remove all of these and add the add the vendor balances only now you can also mention the opening balance as of date uh, let's mention the date as well so if you want to import it with the date because otherwise it will it might add it in the current date so let's write that the date is 1st of january 2023 so let's double click to send it down it should not change the date so we will now not fill series but copy cells so let's copy all of these now and paste it in the order and these are our balances save changes and we are done so guys this is how you can import the customer and vendor balances now for the item and services if I go to add multiple items, we have the same sequence here. Uh, non inventory parts, inventory parts. We, we can only add service items in non inventory parts, but we can enable the inventory items. But even then, the point is that, that you can only import the inventory item names. You cannot import it with quantity, cost, and the total amount as an opening balance. For that, you need IAF. Uh, import templates and that is the separate topic which you can find in our channels in some other videos i'll attach the link for that uh, in the description section as well so you can check that out but for now that's it this is how you can import the customer and vendor balances in quickbooks so that's it i hope you liked the video and if you did Hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified of all the future videos. This is Saad signing off from today's video. Take care.